I have these events to show off my stage plays. Here's the Scottish Communion. Tonight is a shortcake. I have copyrighted 20 Mother. stage plays. You tramp it up my house, now pestering my lasses with some scrawny notion of manhood. I kind of feel in a way being an outsider gives me a little bit of an edge because I have a different perspective. He's impressive property, your father. I just feel that it's a gift been given to me because I'm really enjoying what's happening with those stage plays. Greetings from Iowa is brought to you by the Gilchrist Foundation, founded by Jocelyn Gilchrist, furthering the philanthropic interests of the Gilchrist family in wildlife and conservation, medical care and social services, the arts and public broadcasting, and disaster relief. I always wrote poetries, short stories, journals, things like that. I was a guitarist and I wrote lyrics. So when the stage plays happened, all that writing came up and I went, oh, fantastic. The library of Charles City has a real community feeling to it. And that's basically where I type up the manuscripts. I have copyrighted 20 stage plays. I was working on uh, work search and then I thought, you know, for fun, I'll just write a little stage play on the side. And all of a sudden I could see four more stage plays in my mind. Whatever you want to say about the church, it has brought you all and taught you all to read and write. Tonight, I'm going to be reading from one of the stage plays, which takes place during the Scottish uprising of 1745. Benny, wait, I'll hunt deer and I'll cook for you. Reggie, Benny, you're so funny. You and hunting deer. The paperwork is hard work. I've been working so hard to try to learn how to be a good filer, but the writing is a blast. You're writing and it just comes out. And it's like, wow, you're just blown away by it, you know? It's all, you are my 20 year songs, my flowers in my garden with kiddos. They're not just stories for entertainment. I try to put ideas in them, challenge the audience to think, and problem solving. I really am big on problem solving. I wanna generate an idea. Let's solve these problems, let's find answers. Mother, quick, that road of escape I told you about, let's take it. Out the back door, kids, quick. One of my stage plays is called Time Travel, and time travelers go back, they go up to City Hall, and they try to give the people information not to build a mall. Don't build a mall. It was a disaster, this mall they put up. We know, we know, Benny. You keep telling us over and over. It seemed like a great idea at the time because in 1968, malls were just coming into vogue, and they thought this was opportunity, but it was a disaster over the years. And then they leave them a, a message about how they might uh, rebuild the main street. Something like that. The very first stage play is titled Oldster. Uh, it came from a musical album I put together. Now, one of the lines is money, sh doctors, hassles, and pain uh, from one of the songs. And that's what they're going through. Because when you're up in later age, your body's breaking down. You have all kinds of crazy health problems. And then there's money problems and Oh my God, so it's stressful for older people. Tonight, I'm not sure, I think we're, we might not have many, may not have anybody, but I decided if no one comes, I'm gonna feel this myself and you're gonna get the best. You will be compensated. It is all male folly and it's dangerous foolishness and I'm holding back profanities and curses on you for now. <coughs> Murdoch, you believe he's with you, he's with you. I pick it up, I don't care whether the people come or not, I still do my work and I go forward. Aye, mother, we know you loves us. We go off into life knowing we had a mom who loved us. And we do and we admire you. Like Will Dunn said, you made us feel that we's part of you. And no matter how horrible it gets out there, we know we come from persons who was interested in us. Kids all say, aye and amen and we love you, mom. Mother continues weeping. I just want to be grateful. I just stumbled across it and realized, wow, I can do this. Those two are serious business. They collect rents. You know, you, you live a life. What's about? What's going on with it? Isn't there something, one thing in your life that you really had a good success with that you're proud of? It should be celebrated.